make your house a garden of peace, not a field of noise. For tranquility is a blessing. Make your house a garden of peace, not a field of noise. Welcome back. I'm boiling some mint with some water and added some honey from our farm. And the mint was from our garden in the summer, which we were able to dry some mint. And I'm grateful for using it for fall season and winter to come. I am putting together a little breakfast for my family this morning. And I like to keep our teas in this thermos so it stays nice and hot throughout the day. We were blessed last summer with lots of zucchini. So those zucchinis, we were able to make zucchini bread with duck eggs from our ducks and homemade blueberry jam. That's what I'm serving it with. Let's slice a few more. As you can see, my husband is in the prayer room getting ready, homeschooling the children. We work well together while I take care of the kitchen and what we were going to eat for the day, which I love being in the kitchen. And my husband helps with the children, so we do it together. It's not one person's work. Alhamdulillah wa shukrulillah. Let's shut the doors. I don't want to disturb and distract the children and my husband while they are doing their morning studies. This beautiful gift bag. You will not believe it. I put it uh, aside for four, five, six months. Ramadan gifts slash Eid gift. These candles were gifted to me from my daughter Sabrina. Whenever she can get hold of candles that are chemical free, she will buy it for me and gift, gift this to me. And also this little apron it's a gift from Sabrina and her family. Thank you, Sabrina. And my oldest sister, Anissa, gave this beautiful, generous gift to me that's made of ceramic and bamboo diffuser. I do have diffusers, but not like this one. This one is really beautiful and comes with remote. How awesome is that? And it came with a little certificate how to take care of it or I have to read it a little later. And what a beautiful, generous gift from Sabrina and her family. These are candles she has given to us before and I loved it. Lavender and Ylang Ylang one, and this is came with the Anisis diffuser. So f she gave us candles with fativer and lemon and lavender. So guess what this apron is that Sabrina gave it to us, gave it to me, mashallah. It's so little, but it does a beautiful job. Thank you, Sabrina. Can you guys guess what I will be using for this apron? Comment down what I will be using it for. It has little pockets. So cute. Did you comment it down while I hydrate? I'll be using it collecting eggs from the chickens and the ducks, inshallah. So these candles, even though they are chemical free, I love them. The smell is quite light 
I am very sensitive with smells, so these are light smells that I can handle. And each one of them has a little sticker of the color that, like the lavender has a purple one, the orange has an orange one, and there's one that my husband and I both love it. It's a um, lemon fativer, I think. Fativer essential oil, we use it for our bath. Yep, it's this one, lemon fativer. We we'll both love that one, and it has that lemony color. So beautiful. So let's go ahead and put this together. Let's make our house a beautiful, peaceful garden today. Not a field of noise, inshallah. Um, I think at the end of September, we put this table together. It was the start of fall, and I was able to put this clean tablecloth. Today, I want to change that. Also, I have a bag that's been sitting on this table for quite some time. The day I ended up at the emergency room and I had my surgery, I was able to that morning visit one of my favorite secondhand stores and look what I found. This beautiful, I like to collect blue dishes. So I found this salt box and I bought that. It's from the secondhand store and this is ceramic blue dish and I'm thinking about washing, cleaning it and using it for the fall with um, just setting it my eggs. I'm thinking it's beautiful, cheap, affordable and hopefully it will last a long time inshallah. A couple of days ago I also went to the local co-op and these are locally made candles that are they kind of look like pumpkins and chemical free so i thought anything chemical free i love to get it that's made of bee wax and things like that especially since it's the season of pumpkins and so on so i wanted to collect that and make sure i get hold of these are so cute and they are candles Hopefully, I'll be able to use it for fall or winter, inshallah. So let's put this table together and move everything. It's going to be beautiful, but simple. Reuse and recycle and cheap way to uh, buy what you need for your home to make it pretty and simple, inshallah. Most of my decorations and things are from secondhand stores that way i can reuse it save the environment and save money for our family whenever i have a little bit of time i like to change things around my house just the little things that can bring us joy because we have seasons here in the wisconsin area and why not Change things around a little bit. Just the simple things goes long ways, you know. Of course, Anwar goes wherever I go. That's a blessing and a sign of mercy and given from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's remove this and get one of my old tablecloth. I was thinking putting it a white and cream one that I have but I couldn't find it which is okay because this time of the year since it's fall the leaves are becoming yellow and brown and light green and I thought why not use my yellow one right it's used and I had it about I'm not sure two years three years now and uh, in this area it's our dining room as you can see so this is one of the places that we walk if we are going. We walk through this area so many times, going to the living room or going to the kitchen, going to the bathroom. You pass the dining room and I thought, why not have it a little bit of 
bright color and something kind of cute symbol that's the way I like things to be very simple because it just brings me peace Let's put that together. And also I want to bring a little tray that Sabrina gave it to me a couple of years ago. Of course, it, on Eid time, we gift each other on Eid. Alhamdulillah. And uh, I'm thinking about using that, this little wooden tray to keep the candles in one place. and then set it in the middle of the table. I need to hydrate as I go. When I ended up in the hospital, they said, you are dehydrated. And I'm thinking, but I drink all day. But when I ended up at the hospital, my fever was 105. So uh, something was going on. That's probably why I was dehydrated. But I do drink lots of water and herbal teas. I better go nice and slow. The children are coming out of their homeschooling, getting a break, and they are eating now. I like to take advantage of that and enjoy setting up the table. So now when they come out, they'll be like, oh, the table has changed. So I set the candles there, put the chairs together. Today is a beautiful, bright day, even though it's fall. This table seats about 10 and uh, it's lasting. I was pregnant with Sharifa and she's 13 now. We bought it on her pregnancy. So it's lasted, it's been with us 14 years and I am glad it's lasting this long. We usually use it when family comes. Most of the time we eat on the floor with our sheet, the Islamic seating style way, we prefer that. There we go, everything came together so nicely. And I wanna wipe this little beautiful paint. It's from Sabrina made it when my husband got into the bees. Let me show you closely. My husband became beekeeper years ago and Sabrina put this sort of nihal together. The bees, isn't it beautiful? Mashallah. I always do my best to keep my flowers. So the dining room and the ledge looks beautiful. Simple and clean. Use what you have. And Anissa's diffuser, I just set it there for now. Use what you have buy things when you can find them a good things from the second hand stores reuse recycle and cheap way to also save your family's money we have only two eggs left today so let's take this basket and collect the duck eggs when i come outside i see the love and mercy allah sent this to me angie's waiting our dogs love sourdough bread. So since she was welcoming me, I knew she was waiting for me. I wanted to bring her and give her bread. My husband's already outside collecting all the leaves. We had lots of rain and uh, the field needs some help collecting broken logs and trees and all kind of stuff. Let's start with the ducks. Six weeks ago, I wasn't able to lift this. And now I am, I am so grateful. I'm recovering quite well. I wanted to collect the duck eggs first and put it into this basket. Usually the duck eggs are quite messy and dirty. So the apron i will collect it with the chicken uh put it the chicken eggs because they are cleaner 
this is a couple of days collection. We haven't collected for a couple of days, so. I have been using all the baking when I'm baking bread and things like that, mm -hmm. the duck eggs. Let's put that covered and go to the chicken coop. Check some chicken eggs. I love this time of the year. It's fall and it's beautiful. It's cooling. This is my first time that I'm going to use my uh, apron. As you can see, the chicken eggs most of the time are quite clean. And I keep, can keep it on my counter for two weeks or longer. So it's fine. This is going to be handy. Especially winter season. Usually when I come outside to collect eggs, my hands freeze carrying the basket and stuff. So this is going to be nice. Thank you, Sabrina and family, with your beautiful, generous Eid gift. How perfect. I think it will even fit two eggs. I have seen this long time ago, but I never really bought it. So now I am excited. Instead of leaving the eggs a couple of days, I might be coming out to get fresh air and collecting the eggs every day now. I see our golden retriever. He's trying to get into the kitchen, and uh, not kitchen, chicken coop to grab bread or something from there. He's being silly. And I was checking around the garden. There's nothing left. It's quite, you know, cold, so everything froze. And Angie's waiting. I must give her some love. When I'm outside, it's Angie who says, love me, mama, love me. So I stop, I visit. And then when I go in the house, it's Anwar. It's such a blessing gift. Let's do gratitude. Please comment down and let me know every few weeks, what do you do at home? So I'm going to set the duck eggs right there for now. And let's put the chicken eggs on the counter. I would like to learn from you as well what you do for your house to make it a beautiful garden and a peaceful and not a field of noise. And also comment down what kind of videos you guys like to see and subscribe if you haven't. Give the videos thumbs up and have a beautiful blessed day. Thanks for hanging around with me today and hanging out with the chickens, the ducks, and having my table look kind of nice. I'm just going to hydrate, rest for a while, and focus on lunch a little later. Because I do eat in between noon and six. That's what I'm focusing on, and I seem to feel better that way. But after my surgery, I was just doing my best to just eat eat what I could at the time. So now I'm back to my intermittent fasting and low carb and doing this, eating this way, I was able to reverse my pre-diabetes and shed some weight, which I am very grateful for. I will see you guys next video. Have a beautiful, blessed day. I'm sending you my love, a little more hydration. You moms out there, take the time to hydrate while you make your house beautiful don't forget yourself as well as we conquer and take care of things as ladies do every day so take good care of you inshallah more water from the Berkey see you next time Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.